Salutations from Earth 23. I am some black nerd, and this is the unboxing of the Google Stadia with UnitedFrontGaming.com. Like I said, we're here to unbox the Google Stadia. For those of you who may not be too into gaming outside of consoles, uh, brief explanation. So the Google Stadia um, is Google's first real launch into any sort of uh, game development or consoles like development. But what's nuts about this is that there's no real console here. So the difference in between what you're used to when you go into the store, you buy your big box, you take it home, you plug it in, and then you have to connect it to the internet in order to really get yourself going. What's crazy here is that in theory, and ideally how this is supposed to greatly work, is that if we put this on Google Chrome, it should be able to actually just work well there. On top of that, we can also connect it into any TV with your Chromecast that comes with the Founders Edition, as long as you've gotten lucky enough to get into that. Uh, but let me show you a little bit more of what we're talking about. So what we have here uh, is the Founders Edition. What we have here in this box uh, comes with the Chromecast Ultra, which is going to be Google's uh, highest level of Chromecast, which actually gets you up to 4K. Um, and then on top of that, we should also have a controller here, um, which actually works directly with the service. So what's really mind blowing about this device um, is the minimum requirements in order for you to be able to use this. What Google decided to do here um, with their devices is that you only need a minimum of 10 megabytes per second to really be able to even get 720p. Again, 10 megabytes per second to get 720p gaming on this device, which is insane. Um, especially knowing that this is coming from a cloud service, which we'll get more into kind of how unnerving that could be a little bit later. But uh, you're getting a full service, and when you see the type of games in which you're able to play, it's gonna blow you away. All right, so Google went very simplistic with the box here. Just very simple, Stadia, their logo, and one place for all the ways we play. New slogan, makes plenty of sense for a device in which you can use anywhere. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this open. All right, so off the bat, we get the Stadia controller, which oddly enough feels like a bridge in between um, the the Switch's Pro Controller and the PlayStation size, but they went with the letters, very similar to uh, Microsoft and Nintendo. Um, we got our D-pad here. D-pad feels pretty good. Um, maybe not as I would like as flexible for maybe a fighter, but obviously really first base is on controls. Um, haven't really had a chance to really open it up and get it going yet, but once you really see that, you'll see kind of how things go here. Right underneath that, the Google branded USB-C charger. Um, now what's fantastic about this one, looks like we actually have a A on the other side. Um, typically they have the C on both ends. Here we get the A, which means that we can actually plug this in into any device we need to, which makes sense, they need to be flexible. Chromecast Ultra. If you've ever seen a Chromecast before, they really don't change too much of physically how they look. Very simple basis here, very clean though. I love the all black. Um, I love the magnet on the back. The originals did not have that. Uh, makes sense when you're gonna be traveling with something like this, you'll need this. Again, your port there where you'll need to plug in your, your charger. Um, actually not your charger, but the cable in which you use to get power. We have a direct connection so that we could plug ethernet in, which is a major deal. Remember, we are using this strictly over the internet um, the Nintendo Switch, for example, does not have a direct port uh, for its Ethernet. You have to buy that separately. So what's great here, a device that essentially could work strictly on wireless, um, takes advantage of needing the Ethernet port, puts it right there on the charger. Brilliant, because typically your Ethernet port is on the wall and so is your power adapter. So that's a really smart, innovative move by Google. Wouldn't actually have thought of that myself. That's actually really smooth. All right, so um, like we have here on the back, the slogan, once again, one place for all the ways we play. Makes plenty of sense. Get a good image of the device in play. And then as we open it here. Now this one, a little different from the one that comes in the Founders, which means that the Founders Edition likely is a controller that you probably won't see very much more often. Very similar to the other, but instead we have a bit of a grayish finish. 
I like this a lot. The control sticks, the white there, very simplistic, just like the rest of it, um, which causes you to think that maybe the Founders Edition may should have went another color with the controller. With this actually matching better with the device itself, uh, maybe something a little bit more Google-esque. It could have been a little bit more bright maybe. Anything that kind of fits the Google theme. Nice that we have the headset port there, which means that we can use any typical head port, headphone here. Oh, of course, charger cable, um, no wall adapter. So keep in mind, um, what's great though, this is an A, so it doesn't matter. We can just kind of find and plug this in anywhere, so you'll be fine either way. And one major component here with this device uh, is its versatility with any type of controller. So we are talking about Xbox One controllers, uh, PlayStation controllers, and of course, because we're on PC, mouse and keyboard. The Google Stadia Pro, we are looking at um, discounts on games. So the 999 here seems to be just for a service fee, as if um, just the same thing you pay as in with PSN or with Xbox Live or even Nintendo now. So I guess that's not too out of the ordinary, um, but I guess at that point, um, beyond I guess just maybe not wanting to have the console, um, hard to give a lot too much more incentive, um, unless you got some bomb internet um, to really go this way as your sole console. Again, this could be your, your maybe second more like a third device, but again, um, you're looking at paying for a, kind of a game more than once um, and not having your saves go over besides something maybe like Destiny 2, um, which is already set to do in the first place. So um, that um, a bit disappointing there, um, but the promise is still there. Here's hoping that we're moving towards like that streamed um, monthly service where we actually get these great games. Um, so one thing to mention um, as we set up the device here on the PC, um, the Stadia controllers on PC do not work wirelessly, at least not yet. Um, you have to have them connected through a USB controller, and with USB cable, excuse me, and which came in a box. But to be fair, um, for as fast as these games load onto the, the screen on the browser, um, and load into the game is incredible. I, I can't, f like you, you have to see it to really like understand how amazing it is, how fast this is. So uh, you go to your mobile app, um, you choose the game, um, and all you have to do is to go to stadia.google.com, you log into your Google account, and once you hit it on your phone, and at that point then loads onto the computer screen, um, within seconds of us hitting it, it is now on the PC monitor, um, and I am now able to play the game within less than a minute. One difference, as I noticed from the other stuff, is just the uh, Stadia store. Every game has to have a place for you to buy their DLC. Google's no different. Um, so you're gonna have a place where you are able to um, go in and download any extra DLC content. So you shouldn't be left out of anything here. Um, I'm still noting, noticing a little bit of a loading uh, difference because obviously I am still on the internet, so I would still recommend having great internet, but man, I'm, I'm blown away that this actually works as simple as it does here. After having a few moments to really play with the game, uh, run some Destiny as well as some Samurai Showdown, um, I'd have to say that uh, ideally if this works as well as it's running now, uh, we are really in for a treat. Um, no really sense of lag when playing, um, being that uh, the setup is so simple. This is really a good setup for someone who maybe wants to allow uh, someone to be able to play without maybe uh, going too far and spending 300 plus dollars um, in order to really get uh, something uh, to really enjoy yourself with. Hard part, obviously, um, keep in mind a lot of the, if you're buying this as a gift, it's probably not something that a bunch of other people will be playing, so probably still be better off um, if you're looking for a gift for a specific, you know, gamer, maybe a younger gamer. This may not be for them. This is definitely uh, a setup for someone who's an adult, um, really built around uh, knowing your hardware, having great, uh, even just a basic to even great internet connection. 
um, to really allow you to uh, enjoy these games. Remember, besides Destiny already having a cross save, a lot of your current saves on the games which you own will not move over here. Um, so if you really don't care about kind of starting over and you really just want some new tech, the Google Stadia is honestly an awesome way to go. Um, remember, you're going to be paying your $9.99 uh, monthly for your online service. Um, you get one free game a month, which is essentially like everyone else is doing. Um, off, out of the box with the Founders Edition, we get the Destiny 2, uh, Destiny 2 Pro Edition, uh, which includes all the Destiny 2 plus DLC and Samurai Showdown. Other than that, um, you're getting your game directly out of the Stadia store. Um, the hardware, very simple, $129.99. Um, you're going to need a TV with a connection um, that has an HDMI connection and just a USB to connect your device to um, to the wall. Um, so as long as you have any sort of TV from the last like decade, you'll be able to use the Google Stadia. So um, either that or just loading in right into Stadia.com, playing the games which you have. But one thing to really heavily keep in mind, you must have a mobile device near you in order to load this up. So it's not as if you can just go to the stadia.com site, load up the game. You gotta have your cell phone or a tablet or something of that sort. So that is just something that you just can't kind of free flow without. But who doesn't really have their phone with them all the time? Um, once you send that stream right over, I mean, I'm running, like I said, on 250 now and it looks incredible, no lag. Um, the frame rate is incredible as well. Um, so the, the future's bright, we're looking really great here. Um, but uh, again, thank you for checking this out, listening, um, watching the video. Um, if you like what you saw, we're gonna do a lot more, a lot more of this. Um, you can hit the subscribe button below. Um, also follow us on our Twitter um, for United for Gaming. You can hit us on our Facebook page as well. Follow me anywhere, some black nerd, spelled exactly how it sounds. Um, one word, um, we'll put that down so you can go ahead and get a click there, follow, uh, or whatever you'd like. Um, thank you for your time. Love that you may have enjoyed this video. If you like it, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Um, again, unitedfriendgaming.com, Google Stadia. It's really up to you. You tell me what you think in the comments on whether you think it's worth copying or not. Otherwise, we know another set of consoles are coming, but it's still great to kind of see where the future is going, even without the hardware. Thank you. Follow our pages, hit our website, show us what you think. Out.